Scammers are clever, but you can protect yourself if you know what to look for and how to react. Joseph Herbert, Clark County Credit Union's Manager of Fraud and Security is here to share what we need to know. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. So let's dive right in. What are some of the indicators that you may be the target of for either an online or a phone scam? It's scammers have been around for who knows how long, right? Because we still have people out there that are providing their information to the world. So uh, among the things that scammers like to do, they usually like to communicate and contact members or just people in general right out of the blue. Uh, use it via usually like phone calls, text messages, emails, right? So if you receive a phone call, normally scammers are going to go ahead and uh, kind of reach out to you regarding some sort of an emergency, whether it be your online or your account information has been compromised or fraudulent charge or, you know, uh, IRS, you owe us money, uh, you need to pay immediately or else you'll be arrested. So these are some of the scams that kind of are out there. They want to play on your emotions, right? Kind of put the fear in you, kind of catch you off guard. Second is email, right? So you can go ahead and get an email. It's very similar. So uh, you can go ahead and get an email uh, from your financial institution or say a service provider, such as a streaming service like Netflix or you know Amazon, saying that there's been an issue with your account. Uh, please log in and uh, you know, click on this link to go ahead and you know review the uh, you know the transaction. When you do so, when you get these emails, the key thing to look for is, you know, uh, you, you want to look at typos. You want to look at the header of the information. You want especially the email address. Uh, in most cases, you're going to have some things like financial institutions like uh, Clark County Credit Union. We're going to have uh, our email address is going to be, you know, uh, ccculv.org or .com. Uh, a lot of these cases, you'll see, you know, an email address would be uh, like cccu. Uh, lv at gmail.com. That Gmail or Yahoo or whatever the case is going to be an indicator that you know the email is probably not going to be legitimate. The other thing you want to look for is typos, uh, grammar errors. Uh, they even spell your name right. In most cases, they don't. So, uh, next method they're going to go ahead and use is going to be text messages. Right? So, they're going to go ahead and send you a text message uh, containing a link or just ask you, hey, did you actually do this transaction, yes or no? Right. If you click yes or no, that's usually going to be followed up with a phone call. Once again, telling you, hey, uh, you know, it's like, oh, we noticed fraud on your account. And during this phone call and conversation, they're probably going to go ahead and ask you for your account information, your login credentials, such as your username, password, PIN numbers, and uh, personal identifiers. All right. Definitely don't want to give those out to these folks. The other uh, thing with the text messages is that some of them will actually go ahead and provide a link uh, for you to click on. When you go ahead and click into that link, uh, kind of bring you to what looks like the home page for uh, or login page for Clark County Credit Union or whatever financial institution that you belong to, right? Uh, it's going to look pretty similar, but it's not going to be legitimate. Uh, it's going to prompt you to go ahead and put in your username, password, right? And uh, once you do so and you click send, now you've pretty much given over your online banking credentials to uh, the fraudsters. Well, those are great uh, indicators for sure. Now, uh, what about when someone encounters that scenario? What's the first thing they should do? Well, first thing they should do uh, is basically just really kind of read into the, uh, the message there, right? So if it doesn't seem right and you get and get that gut feeling, and we get that re you know feeling for a reason, right? So it doesn't feel right, don't follow through with it. Immediately, just kind of uh, hang up, don't answer, or don't respond to the text message email. Contact your financial institution or the business right away and basically let them know and kind of inform them on, you know, the message you received and ask them if it was legitimate or not, or if they try to reach out to you in any way. Right. Now, does CCCU uh, provide any services to help cus consumers, that is, with online scams or prevent fraud? Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, we go ahead, we communicate regularly with our members through email, right? And uh, obviously, everybody out there now has social media. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, you know, the website, we post blogs quite a bit all the time. But we usually post articles, uh, information related to fraud related trends that we're kind of seeing, and ways to go ahead and avoid becoming a victim of uh, fraud and. You know, 
you know, and not giving out, you know, your personal information, right? So the other thing we actually have too here at the credit union, especially, is that we actually brand new it's a bonus checking in which we offer ID Protect, right? So with that, with that you actually monitor your credit for you, right? To try to protect the members from, uh, you know, becoming victims of fraud. Wonderful, uh, Joseph. Thank right? you so much for joining us this morning and having this very important conversation with us. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your time.